Hi, my name is Raiden Hoover. I graduated from Helix Charter High School in 2018 with honors, but the real honor was mine for being able to attend such a supportive and enriching institution. Hey everybody, I'm Gabe, class of 2018. Hi, my name is Aaliyah, um, I'm from class of 2021. Greetings everyone, I'm Elijah, class of 2019. Hey guys, it's Jamar Taylor, class of 08. Hello, this is Antonio Morales, uh, Helix alum, class of 2007. Hi, my name is Tegan Delion, and I graduated in 2017. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon Peterson. I attended Helix High School, uh, graduated class of 2018. Hello, my name is Inez, and I graduated class of 2017. Hi, my name is Anita Flores. I'm a part of the Helix alumni class of 2019. Hi, my name is Salam. I am a Helix alumni, class of 2018. Hello, my name is Shakole Pierman, and I graduated from Helix a pretty long time ago. Hi, my name is Michaela Woods, and I am a current 2L at UC Irvine School of Law, and I graduated from Helix with the class of 2018. Uh, just wanted to say thanks to Helix for um, helping me with everything, you know, helping me get into college and uh, really sparking my interest in uh, the medical field. Helix is my favorite and has left a significant impact on me to this day. Helix had a profound impact um, on my life, and it was mostly due to the teachers on campus. I just wanted to reach out and give a huge shout out to Helix and let you guys know how it left a positive impact on my life um, with the help of teachers, coaches, librarians, and just everybody along the way. I just wanted to say that I'm so grateful to all the staff and faculty at Helix for helping me attend college. Um, I still think back to, you know, Miss Morgan and Miss Viegas for constantly helping me. I was spamming their inbox with emails, um, begging for rec lender, um, recommendation letters, and, you know, just trying to figure out the ropes of Helix. There's some teachers that come to mind, some select teachers that come to mind. Mike Binge, Rachel Casey, Candace Armstrong, and the instrumental music program. Shouts to y'all. First, I would I would like to thank um, Coach K. Coach K really taught us the value of teamwork, whether it's um, you know coming together to prepare and execute a plan to um, carry out concession stands during a football game, or you know planning and executing a, a school dance. I first want to give a shout out to Coach Friend and Coach Damaja, who are my track and field hero coaches for two years. They both made learning something new really fun and were always encouraging and motivating me to put forth my best effort. Some of the teachers I want to shout out, Ms. Shaw, Ms. Schmidt, Ms. Underwood, Mr. Demers, Mr. Gonzalez, Ms. Tyler, Ms. Villegas, Ms. Crabtree, Mr. Berg, Mr. Weber, Mr. Simos, uh, Senior Ms. Jackson. I would like to thank our librarian, Christina Potter. I couldn't imagine one more exemplary. She is kind, thoughtful, I made the library my favorite place to be on campus. I spent more time in there than I ever did a single classroom. She encouraged creativity and founded this maker space, which fostered my passion for invention like nothing else ever did. Um, and specifically thanks to Ms. Wiley and Ms. Alsup for their biology and physiology classes. Um, I don't think that I would have uh, been interested in going to medical school without them. So thanks for everything. I was actually blessed to have the most amazing English teacher, Miss Christian, who is now Miss Smith. And it was very um, encouraging to be around her energy and getting to know her and her always encouraging us to try our best. Um, I would like to thank Helix and Helix staff for always pushing me to be my best version of myself academically and uh, pushing me to go to college and ensuring that I got my applications done, applied for my financial aid and um, just overall support in general, I always felt supported. Um, so thank you to Ms. Street, Ms. Trevino, Mr. Gonzalez, Ms. Meredith, Ms. Dagman, um, Ms. Robinson, Mr. Takahashi, Mr. Morris, Ms. Tyler, Ms. Singer, Mr. Stone, and yeah. Of course, I never would have made it to Stan State if it weren't for my principal, Paula Ann Trevino. When I graduated and didn't have money to pay, pay for my grad night ticket, she paid for it. I'll never forget that kindness. And I'll never forget everything that Helix and every mentor, friend, and experience I had there mean to me. Miss Crabtree, um, who has recently passed, but Miss um, Crabtree and I, I, I felt like we, we had a really special relationship. Um, we came up with this theory that Fridays, on, on Fridays, people were generally happier. 
and we're more um, open and willing to try new things and be nicer to people. And because of that, we would often greet each other with Happy Friday, regardless of the day, um, in hopes that it would make us, um, you know, being be happier and be nicer and be more willing and open to trying to trying new things. I am so immensely grateful and appreciative for my time at Helix because it not only helped me grow and develop as a student, but it helped me grow and develop as a person. And I absolutely think that's in large part due to the amazing faculty and staff that they had on campus. Um, they were constantly pouring themselves into their students and were just so invested. Helix helped expose me to different cultures. I believe because the people I was around at Helix, I'm able to fit into any room anywhere at this present time. Um, you're going to fail, you are going to struggle, but it's um, all about how you recover and learn from the experiences. And one thing I can say that say is that um, the teachers there, when you do struggle, they are more than happy to help you out. Um, it's obviously going to take some extra work. You have to stay a little later, ask for tutoring, but just ask for the help and they will help you out. During my time at Helix, I participated in the entrepreneurship pathway led by Mr. Saban and Mr. Asimos. This path was super important for my future, and I now hold an MBA degree from San Diego State University. I was able to graduate in three years with my BA and then get my master's within the next two years. So in five years, I was able to get two different degrees. Uh, ended up going to college, San Jose, and then now I'm in the military. Uh, I just finished up my 10th year of uh, sports reporting, basically at a professional level. I'm currently a third year art student at Stanislaus State University and I was the first student assistant of the New Warrior Fat Lab, the makerspace I've been helping to create here. I graduated from CSUN with my bachelor's in sociology and minors in Africana studies. I plan on um, going to law school in the next year or so, so just studying for the LSAT. Um, I am the first in my family to attend and actually graduate college, um, and I, that wouldn't have been possible without the support from all the staff at Helix. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I want to say one last time, thank you to Helix and for all of you out there. Good luck on your journey. Continue to grow. Be kind to others and ask for help when it's needed. I would not change my experience for anything. And my both my dad and my older sister are Helix alumni. And my little sister is currently, she is about to enter her junior year. So I am really excited that we all get to be a part of that legacy. And I hope that one day my kids will be able to go to Helix. I am so grateful that I was able to be a part of the Scotty family. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Helix. Go Helix! Um, go Scotties. Once a Scotty, always a Scotty.